What's up guys? I'm back again with another cologne review. Guys, this time it's gonna be on the Joe Vaughn's Must Original. Guys, this was released back in 1973. Um, believe it or not, though, this is a very good, interesting, pretty powerful cologne. Okay? It smells good to me. Alright, the, the main of course in this is musky, warm, spicy, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and floral. Now, in this one, the projection of it is kind of moderate. It's, it doesn't really reach out there. and It's not a macho scent. It's more like a subtle, kind of laid-back kind of scent. But I put it like this, you will definitely get noticed if you wear it, you know. It's going to give you a lot of compliments and a lot of attention, in my opinion. The first you get, to me it's like a mini, a minty smell. Kind of like soapy. Get a lot of warm spiciness. It's like, a, it's warm and spicy. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys check out the spray on this. I'm pretty sure since 1973. This has also been reformulated. Check out the spray. One more time. Okay. okay. All right. Now, spraying this, uh, guys, it smells sort of soapy. It's like... It's like kind of like a soapy scent as I'm waving it around. But it smells really good. Like, you know, like I told you guys, I like those older, old school colognes because they perform better. This one kind of going to leave you with a smooth, musky, warm spiciness. It's going to leave you with like a scent trail around you, like a scent bubble, I would say. Um, so if I got up now, walked out of the room, the sillage on this stuff going to be amazing. It's going to leave good sillage. Longevity, I would say this stuff lasts at least 8 to 12 hours. It depends on then what kind of skin type that you have, where you got super dry or you got super oily skin. It's going to carry on and on and on. But if you got dry skin, you still probably can get 8 to 10 oily. Probably can get 10, 12, even 14 if you got super oily skin. Okay? Now, if you spray this on your, like, let's say you spray this on your shirt, like up in here or something, on your shirt, it's going to last you until you wash this shirt. Now, if you spray it, like, around your collar area, like, around up in here, just go, ch ch <laughs> this stuff ain't coming out until you, you know, it ain't coming out until you wash your shirt. Because it's, it's, it's going, you know, that stuff from the 70s, 80s, and stuff like that. They were powerhouse colognes, and they was made really for the last a very long time. I don't know what it is, whether the way they made it. Uh, I know for a fact they put more quality in them back in that day than they do now, you know. Now, like I always say in some of my videos, they just stamp the name on it, stick a 75 to 100 plus dollars price tag up there, and the name and advertise and market it. You come along and buy it, you pay 150 to 200 dollars for it, but you really ain't getting but a 10 or 15 dollar cologne. <laughs> they got to pay for that marketing and, and they name, you know. Alright, so a lot of times, you know, they really ain't no better. Than the ones you're getting from the 80s, 70s, 60s on back, 90s. You know, this era, it's got, this stuff performs like a beast. I tell you, it really performs very good. So if you're looking at performance, this stuff going to give you great performance, great longevity, great projection, and um, it's, it's going to... Leave a, put like a scent bubble around you like this, you know, because it's got, it's got good sillage. So it's give you a good scent bubble. Like right now, if I get up, you know, and just say, 
let's say I got up and I walked in there, you know. Uh, if somebody's sitting in here, when I get up, you know, this Javon Musk gonna just spread out. Just by waving your arm, it's gonna fill the whole room. I'm pretty sure if three or four people in here were sitting across the room over there, they're gonna smell this Javon Musk just by me getting up, swinging my arm, walking out. They're gonna smell it. They're gonna smell it even. They're gonna smell it just as strong when you're gone because it leaves a good silage behind. Also, on the skin, it lasts for a very long time. Um, now, I'm pretty sure this has been reformulated. So, you're looking about, um, I said probably 90, 90 to 95% to where it was back in 1973, give or take, 90 to 95. You know, it's kind of hard for something to smell exactly the way it did back in. 1973, you know, it's gonna be kind of tough. Uh, this was my dad's favorite cologne. He loved to wear this. He wore this a lot in the 80s. I remember him having, <laughs> he kept a bottle of this stuff. He always kept a bottle. He kept a bottle in the, in the bathroom at all times. I mean, I could see what his, he used a little, then it'd be half gone. Then he have just a little bit to the end. Then next thing you know, you have a new ball sitting on the side. <laughs> and he'll use that one on up, and then you see a full ball. He kept a ball of this stuff. He loved it. So this cologne remind me a lot of him. See, because he, he loved it. I'm going to keep a new ball just because I like to wear it, and he wore it all the time. So I'm going to keep the tradition going because he loved it, so I love it now. See, so I'm going to always keep a fresh ball. I got a couple balls like this, man. I keep them. Yo, I got a ball I wear in rotation, time to time. I keep some in rotation now. I keep some in rotation. See, this a new ball right here I'm showing you guys, but I got an older ball with uh, just a little corner left like this in there. I said, I don't want to put that one out and show you guys an old piece of baller, you know. I'm going to show you a new baller. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, guys, it smells good. You know, like I said, if you're a big fan of the warm spiciness, uh, aromatic, fresh spices, you know, it smells really good. Floral, it smells really good, man. Now, I don't know, I'm going to tell you the top notes of this. The top notes are carnation, lemon, lemon lime, and pepper. The middle notes are lavender, amber, mint. I tell you, I smell like some mint in here. Mint. And spices. Base notes are woozy notes and must. I know I get like a mini, kind of soapy mint. I'm telling you guys that before I even read the um notes, you know, I picked up that scent. That mint was in here. I can smell a lot of that mint, man. Look. That mint come out after immediately though. You take this and spray it. Like this. When you spray it like that, guys, the first thing you pick up, it seems like it's the mint. Just kind of wave your arm and let it die down. Like. I like to let mine die down before I just stick my nose to them and smell them, you know. All right. When you first smell it like that, you get a lot of the mint and the warm spiciness. Just a little bit of the sweetness. It's kind of soapy too. It's like a soapy scent also. It smells really good though. I, I like it. I love it. I like that old school stuff, man. It's good stuff. Alright, so guys, pick it up wherever you see it. Um, it's going to be kind of pricey if you get it from places like Walmart. It's probably going to run you anywhere from... Probably run you 15, 20 plus bucks at Walmart. Uh, let's look around. Uh, it's not the cheapest now. You uh, depends on where you get it from. It can run you anywhere from be twelve, ten. It can run fifteen, twenty plus dollars. With this cologne here, you got to shop around with it, man, because it could be different prices. It can get pricey also. It depends where you get it from. All right. Don't remember I told you. It's not an expensive cologne. It just people set different prices. Somewhere it might be ten. 
Somewhere it might be 25, somewhere it might be 17. You know what I'm saying? You got to shop around, catch it at the right place to get a, the right bargain. All right, guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm signing off, man. I got some more of the Cologne Review coming up for you guys. Take care, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.